everybody, it's a crazy fan girl shower. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, before we get into it, guys, I feel so, I don't know, wronged? Because, as you can see, there's no makeup. I'm super late, as you can see, to this reaction being uploaded late. I did not realise we would get another episode this week. And I was like, oh yeah, doing my own thing. Like, it's currently 10.30 here in Oz. And usually I get on this, like, 5 o'clock on the dot when it's released. And I was playing Fortnite, I had my dinner, I ordered some pizza. I was, like, being really nice to myself. I haven't eaten junk food in a while, so I was like, mm. But then, I was like, oh yeah, and then I was, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go on YouTube and just, like, you know, like, have a look and see what I can watch while I do some work. And then, like, one of my favourite reactors <laughs> was reacting to this, like, did, like, some theory to the second episode. I was like, the second episode isn't out, is it theories for the second episode? And then I saw underneath it, their reaction, I was like... What? <laughs> I felt so betrayed because I thought the episodes were going to be coming out on Tuesdays. I didn't realize that they did it one episode for Tuesday, especially for May May the 4th, and then released another one today. I was so confused. I was like, oh god. Okay, but anyway, as you can see from this video, we are watching The Bad Batch, episode 2. Uh, what's the name? Let me check. It's Cut and Run. Um... And thankfully, it's only a 30 minute episode. So we've sort of gone back to the original time, like, um, of like what the Clone Wars episodes would be like. So I'm pretty happy because I was like, if it's going to be another 70 minute episode, I'm going to be really upset that I can't edit this on time. Um, but thankfully, it's not that bad. <laughs> but we are going to jump straight into this. No, nothing, no like pre talk as usual because that was my pre talk. Let's jump into it. <laughs> But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. She's so cute. Oh, just quick pause already. Again, like I sort of said at the end of the last episode, of the first episode, which is absolutely phenomenal, but, like, it's so nice to see, like, the audience embracing, like, another female character. It's not often that that happens, but, um... She is amazing already, and I'm so excited to find out more about her. I just wanted to quickly say that. I appreciate her, and I just love that people are accepting her character. But anyway. That's Whoopi Dutch. That's amazing. <laughs> it's very much like a tangled moment. <laughs> and you trust a deserter. Why not? We're all deserters now. Hmm. <gasps> Wait! Is it the- Oh! Is he from the Clone Wars? There's an episode. And it's another clone, I think, maybe? Yes, that's his wife. Yes! I remember them. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Rex told us about the clone troopers turning against the Jedi. You talked to Rex? When? Ali passed through yesterday. Where'd he go? Didn't ask. Oh, wait, what? About some behavioral implant. He must name the inhibitor. Wait! Hold up! So, they literally were there just recently? Where did he go? <gasps> because I spoke about this last episode, I was like, nah, I can't, like, Rex can't be, like, here, he's with Ahsoka. Either, either Ahsoka left him and went to do her own thing, or Rex is by himself trying to look for more clones. <gasps> Are we gonna see Rex? Yes, I, I hope we do. <laughs> Oh, she's looking for guidance from Hunter. That's so cute. <laughs> They're like, hmm, why is she looking at you, mate? They started seizing ships about a week ago. Oh, shit. Military ships. All ships. We're tagging them inside that impound lot. The stall's up ahead. What? Why? Well, forcing the people to stay so they can't escape. Oh, that's so sad. Your chain. They move fast. <laughs> oh no, Omega. Oh no. You could have been killed. She's not a soldier. I was trying to get the ball. Oh, poor thing. A ship. That is exactly what I am saying. I guess if they think it's abandoned, 
That just might work. Shit, she's on the ship! Oh no! Now, how can I help? You've had enough action for the day. We'll handle this. They need to start trusting her, because that's when the good stuff's gonna happen. And she can help. I don't know why. This mission reminds me so much of the of the episode where Echo died. I don't know. It's giving me a lot of parallels, sort of, when he was sneaking off the ship. Where the discs go? And where's Omega? Found her. <laughs> Tech is so chill. Found her. <laughs> she can do it. Trust her. She's small enough to get past all of them. Oh, so terrifying. To see the stormtroopers now. Because they're no longer clones! Properly! The extra chain coats for you. So you can leave with Cut and Sue. Why? Did. Did I do something wrong? It's. for your own good. Aww. Yeah, I don't think she's going. I think she's gonna go back. <laughs> oh, hunting circle. Oh no! Oh no! No! Don't you dare! Oh, I knew she'd go with them. Oh good, they were able to get away. At least they're safe. They. I love those characters from the Clone Wars. So that's a cool thing to. Get it in connected to this. We'll talk about it later, but that was cool. This is where I wanna be. Tell you the truth, kid. I guess I've got a lot to learn too. Oh. Ah, nice. Very nice. That was a very wholesome episode. Um getting right to it. I think Dave Filoni and just Star Wars in general love writing the father-daughter or just father-child story and in all honesty I think we all want that because I mean look how well Mandalorian did though we have a child that we don't understand it's like the relationship between Din Djarin and Grogu and just that whole show is just incredible and it's beautiful the character development is so good and already in this you can already sense there is a bond between Omega and Hunter and again there are so many theories going on the internet. Um, also, I just want to say before we go into that, um, everyone is simping over Hunter. It's so funny. They're calling him... I don't know what it means, but it's called Dilf? I, they've called Din in that as well, but I never understand those terms, so someone explain it to me. But he he is very handsome. I mean, all the clones look handsome, but, you know, everyone has, like, their own unique features. So, yeah, Hunter is handsome, I won't lie. But going, going back to the main thing... Um, yeah, the father-daughter bond that they have is so strong already. So, like, I said this last episode too, like, there has to be a reason that they're so close. And even that's why I was saying, like, there's a possibility that maybe, I don't know, there's, like, some sort of connection to his particular genes because he is a defect. Maybe they did it on purpose or, I don't know, it's just it just happened to be coincidence that they used his genetics to make another clone. Um, I don't know, there's so many things going on in that sort of area, and I guess we will find out later on. Because, I mean, there's no other female clone, she's the only one, so there has to be a reason why either what they did it on purpose, or it was they were experimenting with his particular genetics because it was a defect and they wanted to see what else they could do. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what else we find out in terms of that area. Now going us also to the fact that we got to see, I think his name is Cutter, um, from Clone Wars. And oh, I, I love that episode as well because that episode is a very big eye opener for obviously Captain Rex, um, one of everyone's favourite characters. And he obviously learns like what it means for, you know, the soldiers and, you know, every each um, clone having, like, their own identity and the effects of the war happening on them and their own lives. And that episode in Clone Wars was one of my favourites to this day. And it's just, it's so good. Um, that's why when I saw, when, when I saw the planet, I was like, oh my god, it looks familiar, but I don't, like, I don't remember the names of the planets in Clone Wars 
at all because there's just so many. So that's why I was like, this looks familiar, but I don't know from where. And then when he said, we're going to visit someone and the farm sort of started coming into view, I was like, wait a second. It has to be like that, that clone that like was the deserter and saved Rex. So... Yeah, I'm really glad that they're bringing these other characters from Clone Wars that we've seen previously. I really, really like that. Um, it was such a throwback, and now I feel like going back and watching Clone Wars, because it was so good. Um, and that episode, again, was just brilliant. Um, going back to the story again, going to Omega... Um, I love that we're exploring also her side of the story. We're not only, like, experiencing... Like, we're experiencing a lot, actually, but we will talk about what Omega's going through first before we talk about the other stuff I want to talk about. Um, again, it's very much like a Rapunzel tangled situation. You know, she's experiencing everything for the first time, and she's learning that there are rules and there are things that, you know, she's going to get in trouble for and that she needs to understand is good or bad. Um, and obviously she did understand that, but it breaks my heart, though, that she thought just because of that small mistake that Hunter was trying to get rid of her. Um, going to Hunter's point of view, he obviously just wants to make sure that he she is safe. Um, he obviously cares a lot of, for her already, as we saw, like, in so many different moments. And this is the beautiful thing. It's showing, not telling. Like, showing, like, Omega looking to Hunter as if for permission and then him nodding towards her and then, like... Um, there's, there's just so many moments. I love the showing and not telling sort of situation. And it's just beautiful. And it already shows that they have a strong bond. So it's very exciting and I cannot wait to see that bond flourish. Um, and through all that, we are seeing the rising of the Empire already. They're, you know, getting the chain codes ready. And then, you know, the obviously the stormtroopers are becoming what like, big and powerful now, and just becoming a lot more stricter, and, yeah, very much an, an authoritarian, um, sort of, like, figure in this society, and it's obviously very relatable to history, we have seen that multiple times, um, but it's crazy, because this is the thing, in the teaser trailer, we, me and the boys and the boys were on the channel, we analyzed this, like, the clones had so much personality. They were lovable. They were friendly. They were caring and kind. And we saw this in so many episodes of The Clone Wars, obviously. But now, like, there's this one one scene in the teaser trailer. Um, I hope I can get a photo of it and I might put it here if I have the time. But even we can take examples from this, like them walking through the street. Um, like, just nothing. And even I didn't get to talk about it last episode, but... They're all wiped clean. They're perfect. They look pristine. They look like... They look like soldiers. They don't just look like a battalion of comrades and brothers. They look like just soldiers who are just, you know, just made by a machine and are part of the machine. And they are a part of the Empire. So it's very... It's heartbreaking, in all honesty, because, again, like, we haven't... We didn't see this part of the transition into into the Empire ever before. This is the first time. So it's really heartbreaking to have to watch this and see it happen, like, slowly. Very, like, emotional. Because I've watched The Clone Wars when I was 11 years old. So I've watched all these shows, and I'm 22 now. So it's 11 years of my life. And it's crazy. Like, the the development and just, oh, it's, it's amazing. And, like... Oh, it's just, mm -hmm, just the show. Like, I, I love the fact that people are loving the show so much and how much potential there is. Because, again, this story is dark compared to a lot of other stuff we've seen from Clone Wars. So, I love it. And I think everybody loves it because, it's again, it's, it's brand new content. It's not something we've seen before. Obviously, it has something to do with Order 66, but now it's fresh, it's new... Nobody really knows what's going to happen next. We obviously know, like, the like the basis of what happens in terms of the turnover to the Empire. But now we're getting to see it in real time, like, post-Order 66. Like, all these things are happening straight away. So, it's impressive. And I cannot wait to see what else this show has in store for us. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the second episode of Bad Batch Cut and Run. I absolutely loved it, as usual. Just anything to do with Star Wars, I absolutely love. But 
it genuinely, I'm obsessed with this show, and I can't believe I didn't know that the episode's coming out today. This is what happens when I don't watch trailers sometimes. Like, I know, I knew there were teasers and stuff, and I'm guessing the date came out on those teasers, but I didn't watch the teasers because I don't want spoilers, so that's why I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, but, oh, I'm so glad I've f- caught on to the fact that episode two came out, otherwise I would have, wouldn't have known. So thank God I did, but anyway. Also, I was going to say, Rex, so the fact that he's come through to Cutter very recently, it just shows that Rex is also on the path to trying to find more clones or just trying to, you know, he's obviously on the run. So that's a pretty big deal. And like, oh, like obviously he has that knowledge from Clone Wars, like the final episode in the, well, final two episodes actually himself getting the chip out, and he's fine, so, oh my god, I wonder if we're gonna actually see him this season, it's gonna be sick if we do, because that's gonna be really nice, oh my god, Rex, and then just, like, uh, I don't think we'll see Ahsoka, because I think Ahsoka's gonna probably separate from Rex and do her own thing, but, oh god, it's gonna be so good, either way, like, I'm so excited, because it's gonna be, like, amazing, and, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna, and now I'm really excited because I can't, I like, the show, like, has so much potential and, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Whatever the next step is, it's gonna be so great. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and out. Woo!